the quadrats sing. So in the film, abandoned as a girl, Kaya raised herself in the dangerous marshlands of North Carolina. For years, rumors of the marsh girl haunted Barkley Cove, isolating the sharp and resilient Kaya from her community. Drawn to two young men from town, she opens herself to a new and startling world. I do know that this film, uh, I only saw this film <laughs> only because of uh, one thing. Reese Weatherspoon was involved in this film. Uh, she was she produced this film. Like I, yeah, she read the book. You know, she you know she read the book and she wanted to adapt it into a film. Um, and she, you know, I you know she produced this film, and I I was like you know I I gotta see it. And also that plus you know Reese Weatherspoon plus. Um, I, you know, the trailers made it look like, um, from what I can remember, when I went into this film, this, all right, here's what I, my honest opinion, all right, here's what I thought. When I went into this film, I was expecting, like, a murder mystery, like, somewhere in the marshlands, like, in, somewhere in the marsh with this girl, you know, with, you know, with this woman. And instead, I got something totally different. I got a love story. I got a drama love story. What you know? Don't get me wrong. I have nothing against you know the the genre, you know the, the genre of any of that. But you know, I just I got a totally different. Uh, I, you know, I walked out with a totally different movie. You know, <laughs> so um, and you know it. You know, I thought there was going to be some murder mystery going on, but like <sighs> this. Movie, even though I thought the actress, uh, let me see here, Daisy Edgar Jones, um, I thought she gave her best performance. You know, she gave her, you know, she gave it uh, her all. Um, but overall, you know, this film is, I felt like it's unable to to tell, you know, what it's what it actually is, you know. Because I, what, what I mean by that, okay, that made no, that made no sense. But uh, that made no sense. But what I'm trying to say is that I felt like when I walked out of this film, I felt like even though the actress uh, who plays the main girl, Daisy, um, gave you know she gave it her all with her performance, but despite that, despite her performance, I felt like the film, like the tone of this film was completely incoherent like it, it kept shifting like it didn't know what it wanted to be you know it didn't does it want to be like a love draw does it want to be like a murder mystery you know like with these two police officers uh investigating the death of this one guy this quarterback um quarterback um who uh is who by the way is a is an asshole for trying to manipulate and lot for lying and manipulating uh the girl um but um you know is it does it want it to be like a murder mystery does it want to be like a court drama like or does it want to be like a love you know roma romance movie like it like it felt like i was watching three tones it felt like i was watching three movies and not just one like it it felt like it was oh you know it was it was all over the place. And by the way, this movie is like two hours long. That is just too long. <laughs> this movie is two hours and five minutes long. That is way too long. If anything, I feel like this movie should have been like an hour, maybe 45-ish minutes. Uh, but like a sh full on two hours is <clears throat> it's just too much for, for me. Like I kept checking my... I Like I was sitting... At, you know, I was sitting in a movie theater checking my phone a couple of times like how long is this movie like it's going It's been going on for a while um, But yeah That's pretty much um, All I have to say for where the quadrats sing. Yeah, it's Pretty straightforward. Uh, not really much. This isn't like this isn't a superhero comic book movie um, But yeah, I Appreciate what was Reese Weatherspoon did you know, producing this film, um, but overall, I just, 
yeah, I, I just, the tone is just so out of place. It doesn't know what it wants to be. The tone doesn't want to know what it wants to be. Uh, does it want to be like a, like, there's a lot, there's a lot of kissing and making out scenes um, in this film, like five or six times, like a bunch of times. Um, so, yeah, I was like, I was really taken aback by how many times, like, the characters kept making out um, in the movie. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say for Where the Quadats Sing. Um, if you've seen it, what did you thought about it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Were you in the middle? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for taking your time to listening to my review. And I will see all of you lovely people really soon.